and welcome back to Let's Play Blood Omen Legacy of Cain. Let's get out of this place, shall we? And hopefully we won't suffer any further poisonings, because oh man, poison sucks. <laughs> Just, yeah. Okay, now, let's see, is there any... Okay, yeah, there's someone over there, and... Let's get Blood Gout ready. Cast it, and... Drink her blood. Though I could have probably just used Lycanthropy like, to get over there, but probably not. Just screw all this. Oh, there's a shadow there. Mist form! Wow! That skeleton is actually rather aggressive. Ugh. Yeah, of course that is the steady progression of a game. Things do have to eventually get tougher. Though it wasn't like that in the last session of Pathfinder that I had. Oh man, DM was so excited to use some of these monsters. And oh, I think that may have been what I needed to do, actually. And... Oh. Just, yeah. Uh, yeah, our DM had all these encounters set up, and he was really excited to use them, but unfortunately, our characters were a little bit too powerful for them, and we just absolutely steamrolled, and... <laughs> ah! Hitbox detection! Screw it! Yeah, but of course our DM did give us a bunch of abilities and whatnot. Oh! They're just like red... Oh, they're just like a certain type of skeleton from Castlevania. Oh, God. Yeah, unless, of course, you use magic. Ugh. Those kind of enemies are the frickin' nastiest ones to deal with. Ugh. Die! Oh, boy. Oh, life upgrade. And a gold orb, but I don't need that just yet. Yet there's still quite a bit more to go in this room. I'm going to save that, actually. Why? And, of course, I'm just going to use this and... Use this to... Reflect this back at ya! Ha-ha! Ah-ha-ha! <laughs> Slaughtered! Eh, you know what? Yeah, just using, using the hell out of Repel. But then again, Repel is just pure awesome. And there is a green one. Let's see, how much does that... Oh, that actually fills up quite nicely. Yeah, I just thought I'd get everything there. Can I go and get that gold orb back? Or that gold energy magic orb? Because I just want to refill. You know what? Just to save up on life. Screw this. And also, I can't believe I just repeated myself last time. <laughs> I just realized it as soon as I was editing it and just getting ready to compress it. <laughs> oh man. That's what happens when you do live commentary sometimes. It's just like you can't get every single You can't get every single line to be as cohesive as coherent as you want it to be. Well, at least these guys are slow as hell.
And freaking screw it. Use another harder darkness. Yeah. So my word of advice for me: don't be so conservative of everything, because that's what I items are meant to be used. And if you just keep a hold on to them and just let them collect dust in your inventory, even though you should probably use it, not a good idea. Ah, come on! Game saved. Now, let's hopefully actually go to Vordor's mansion. Should be heading that way. Ah, itchy. And bye bye Blood Gout Shrine. And of course, there is a. There's a place that I need to go that way. Hmm. And of course, that cave to there. But, just to get through here quickly and safely, let's just use Mist Form. Still can't believe I managed to catch myself before I actually swore. Because I try not to swear in excess. Well, for LPing, because, well, there's no real need. And, oh, what the hell? Brains. And I just already saved it, but I'm going to save it again. What the hey? Haymaker! No. <laughs> Sometimes I just get certain words stuck into my head and I just end up saying whatever <laughs> it's a little funny thing about me and also excuse me if I do talk about certain topics to an extent that may bore you or whatnot that's also another quality of mine here what the hair this what the hell what's this what's this the heck is this? What the? Ooh, it's another spell already? Huh? This spell allows me to enslave my enemies, giving me control of their bodies. When I release my grip, their bodies will shrivel and die as I displace their souls and replace them with my own. Ah, uh, that's all. That sounds almost very close to the magic jar spell. That you get in D and D or Pathfinder, and in case if people get confused between the difference between D and D and Pathfinder, Pathfinder is just really a a derivative of 3.5 Dungeons and Dragons. And you knew it. Screw it. I'll just put that. Control mind. Yeah, that's the name of that spell. Probably not going to use it because. I have a tendency of not using most things. Yeah, you have to use the spell in or in this area. And also, it's a good thing that Kane's invulnerable. Oh. 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 Yeah. Uh, this is going to be a problem. Yeah, this is going to be a major problem. Yeah, just got to keep an eye on the patterns. And there we go. What's that opened? Well, we'll just have to find out. I'm not sure if there's a limited duration to this. Probably is. That or it's until the body dies. Oh crap. Yeah, I just want to lure this guy away. And, of course, run all the way up here and grab this. And, of course, it... Yeah, you have to exit the enemy's body in order to... actually use... such things. And also... Oh, yeah, there is a dude up there, so I am definitely gonna... use a couple flays and... Vaporize the crap out of them! Damn! Hmm. 
You know what? Maybe I can actually use the incapacitate spell. And actually... Incapacitate through this... Blah, blah, blah. Just, yes, the menus are a little finicky as always for me. And also forgetting to press the right button. Let's see. Well, that didn't seem to work. Enslave mind! Oh, frick. Go away! Oh, for the love of God. Oh, for frick's sake. Yeah, I'm gonna have to be very careful, and I wish I hadn't... Ugh. Okay, that's good. Yeah, I gotta be careful. Gotta be extra careful if there's enemies nearby. Well, it seems that they actually do give you enough space to try and dodge them. And also, how does... I have no idea the way that Kane, how Kane gets all this magic and blood. Because seriously? Yeah, it's just, it's just, how does this stuff work? It's magic. Don't need to bother with science. And grab that. Yeah, that's for that, that was for that. That was for that. And let's see what's in here. Probably something I'll regret. Ah, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, I got launched, launched back in the door. Frick off. And just absolutely just... You know what? Let's use some flay discs. Oh, for frick! Just turn you into a bloody mass. And, of course, I am obviously going to use an yet another Heart of Darkness because, holy crap, those guys can be a little bit vicious! Oh, yeah. Ooh. Yep. Just gonna do that and exit the mind. Oh, for the frick. And I believe that is it. I believe that is it. Was that in fact a... Oops. Whoops. Need to press the select button to actually... To actually... Get... To the status... Ha! <laughs> Our prestige went up! And we have 21 secrets. Awesome. <laughs> We're a gimp. Oh god. Bring out the gimp! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some of the prestige names are a little silly. And just exit the menu. Oop, sorry, hit the mic there. Yeah, it's actually... Whoop. Usually when you do play D&D or Pathfinder, a swamp... Usually not the best place to explore. <laughs> especially if your party... Especially if you have characters that have really weak fortitude saves because they would be catching a lot of diseases if you're not careful but just as long as you take take it slow and make sure that you take every necessary precaution you hopefully won't have to deal with things like that Ugh. I remember my party an old party that I once had or yeah that I had to went through 
through a swamp and oh boy did one of the most hilarious things ever happen oh sorry if I don't if I butcher the story a little bit it is a little difficult oh, no font of Petrescence. honestly pretty fitting that you find these here yeah we had let's see a barbarian fighter multi-class a oh well, here's Antitoxin. Antitoxin Shrine? Wait, wasn't that in... in no, no, that was Font of Putrescence. Your blood for me, and these artifacts will be yours. Yeah, and also we had my character, who was a sorcerer, with a multi-class of Dragon Disciple. And let's see, we also had a ninja, which is an alternative to the rogue. And then we also had a fighter who, unfortunately, the player couldn't make it anymore, so he was now just an NPC. Oh, and oh man, the DM just honestly did something so... Just started something that was so hilarious, because what happened between the fighter and the ninja was that the fighter decided to be cheeky, literally, and of course the ninja decided to plunge a shingham in said cheeks and oh uh, yeah <laughs> and I remember a certain one of the person playing the half elf barbarian fighter archetype saying he takes 10 butthole damage <laughs> I was like what <laughs> it was just like the most hilarious thing so is there anything up there no it's just a decoration it was just hilarious Oh, uh, and of course we were in the swamp, so... Yeah. Having an opened wound that... Luckily wasn't touching swamp water. Oh yeah, we also had a ranger. Ooh. So this for a new weapon? Ooh. I believe this may be. Yeah. I believe it was, in, in fact, a ranger that was also with us. Yeah. <laughs> But honestly, that was just like the most hilarious moment. Don't, don't drop your garden against a lawful evil ninja. Especially if you're being an asshole. Because they'll give you a new one. <laughs> oh, man. That was just like, oh, my goodness. Hmm. Where the frag is this? Oh, please. Okay, I'll help you. End your life. And blood too. Oh man. Honestly, let's see. What is in here? What the hell is even in here? Don't even know. We'll find out soon enough. Holy Jesus. Yeah, just honestly, there's been quite a few moments. Oh, I know. Wait. <coughs> yeah, it just... It just stuns them. So you do have to be careful about that. It doesn't send them instantly into the waiver state. I have never used the incapacitate spell, so... Oh, what the hell? Okay. And of course I'm doing that, doing that weird thing with the animations doing there. Yeah, just taking advantage of hitbox. Damn, this thing takes a lot of damage. What the hell is this thing? And also, something I do want to bring up is that it's interesting that the blood, that poison blood does actually damage Kane. But then again, it is pretty much poison. Some things do deteriorate the cells in the body, so... Things like that can't happen in... Seriously! Stop the game. 
Well then, it seems that I may just have to end it here and just holy crap. So, let's see, just do that. And yes, I shall end it here. I've been the Northern Star Dragon and I shall see you in the next video. And just where the hell am I?